What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show for episode 25 of our MLB The Show 24 Pittsburgh Pirates franchise mode here on the channel. Pirates sing out 101 and 80, coming to the game 162 with Tamar Johnson making his major league debut here. A former number one prospect, he's sitting currently at number two behind Eldridge Bush. Uh, also, Connor Griffin not far behind him. Uh, but take a look here. We have a lot of nice talent here in the pipeline for the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Lots of players here in the top 100. We got nine of them, technically. So there's a lot of room for improvement here in Pittsburgh. And I can see a lot of these guys definitely participating in the future. Uh, but Chris Sale is going to take the mound here for game 162. 32 starts. A 22-6 and six record. 250 innings pitched. A 263 ERA. A 112 whip and 186 punch outs, 21% K rate, and a 6.6% .6 walk right here for the veteran lefty. First bat of the game, Tommy Edmond grounds that one over to Cody Clemens at the hot corner, over to first in time for out number one. So one down quickly here in the first, taking a look at the Cardinals lineup. You have Edmond in center, Carlson in left, Contreras catching, Gorman at second, Walker in right, Weather Holt in DHing. Uh, we have Thomas at first, J.D. Davis at third, and we'll fit the shortstop when we get there. Uh, but Carlson, the left fielder, he swings and misses for strikeout number one. So one down, 13 more to go for 200 strikeouts here. Uh, next man up, Contreras, and he swings and misses. Back-to-back -back Hayes ends the first here for uh, the St. Louis Cardinals. And on the mound here for the Cardinals will be Sonny Gray, 5-11 and on the season, 33 Game start, 187 innings pitched, a 441 ERA, a 152 whip, and yeah, he's had himself an okay season. I feel like a lot of his issues are definitely uh, the Cardinals letting him down, but that definitely doesn't help right there. The leadoff home run for uh, the Pirates, Kyle Schwarber, his 50th of the season. Big, fat 5-0 there for Kyle. You love to see that one. He's definitely he's definitely made a lot. Of fans here happy in Pittsburgh and he's definitely lived up to that 4.1 million dollar contract here in year number one of uh, that four-year deal honestly if he doesn't pan out the last year or two I feel like if he hits 120 home runs 140 home runs he kind of lives up to it uh, Jared Kalanick there he slaps that one to left Carlson gets into it quickly uh, but he's standing now on first Austin Martin up and Martin up. Fastball up and in. You hate to see that one. Uh, Martin gets a jammed on it. First punch out of the game here for Gray. Brent Rooker up and Rooker takes the, the middle high fastball deep to right field at the wall. Looking up. Walker will just watch that one fly. A two run shot there. 31st of the season for Brent Rooker. And Rooker, there you go, puts the Pirates up 3 0 here in the first inning. So a big fly home run. You love to see that one there. Uh, Rooker does um, have a lot of power here from the right side of the uh, batter's box. And he does critique well with Kyle Schwarber. Next man up, Tamar Johnson, who strikes out swinging. You hate to see that one right there. Go get him next time there, big fella. You got this. Up comes now Henry Davis, the catcher. Davis draws the two-out walk. So keeping the inning alive is the former first overall draft pick, Henry Davis. Up comes Robert Hassel. He drives that off-speed pitch left center field. That one's going to be getting down. That's going to hop over the wall right there. And there you go. So two on, two out, and a swing and a miss right there. That's an unfortunate way to end the inning. So up comes Nolan Gorman in the four hole. The second baseman drives that to center field. At Kalanick, he's underneath of it. He will make the catch there for out number one. So one out now in the second up comes Jordan Walker, bang 249 on the season. He unfortunately hasn't really panned out yet, uh, but he strikes out there. Third punch out of the game for sale. J.J. Weatherholt, he's the D.H. He fouls that one off right there. Uh, big foul ball. Now I'll try this one again for Weatherholt. That's driven to left field. That one's bag. Hassel, he makes the catch there. Nice running catch to end the second inning. So one, two, three, go the Cardinals. And up comes Cody Clemens batting in the nine hole here. Drives that cutter. Deep right center field. That one's back at the wall. Looking up and gone. Cody Clemens connects with that one there. 
his fifth home run of the season. Uh, you like to see that there for the son of Roger Clemens. Cody getting things done here. You love to see that when you really do. Uh, but Cody rounds the base. He's going to step on home plate, and that's going to put up the Pirates by yet again another run. 4 nothing is the lead here in the fourth. Now Schwarber full count. Schwarber will swing a miss fastball down and in. That is going to be the first out of the inning. Up comes Kalanick here. Kalanick drives that curve all to center field. That one is back. That one is caught on the run by Tommy Edmond for out number two. So two outs now here in the second inning. And up will come Austin Martin in the three hole. Over one of the day. Puts that on the ground right to the first baseman for a one, two, three inning. Up comes Thomas, that guy, the first baseman. He chops that one to Clemens. Clemens has it over to first in time for out number one. One down now here in this third inning. And up will come J.D. Davis, the third baseman. Davis grounds that one to Rooker, who takes it to the bag himself for out number two. Two quick outs here for Sale in the third inning. You like to see that one for the veteran lefty. And up comes Scott Kingery. Scott Kingery back in the league here. He drives that to right field. That's going to be ripped for the first hit of the game uh, for the St. Louis Cardinals. And Kingery playing in that shortstop position. Up comes Edmund who strikes out swinging there. And that's going to end the third following the two out base knock. Brent Rooker one for one with the home run. Watch a strike three go by. Yeah, I don't know what he was looking at there, but clearly wasn't that fifth punch of the game for Sonny Gray. Up comes Tamar Johnson for his first major league hit. Drives the up and in fastball to right field. Of the more left field. That one's going to be caught for out number two. Up now Henry Davis full count and Gray gets him the pop up. Infield here comes the first baseman. He's going to make the catch. And that's going to end the third inning. Now here you go. Dylan Carlson the left fielder. He drives that to the left center. Kalanick comes in. Kalanick will make the grab for out number one. So one out now here in the fourth. Up will come the catcher, Wilson Contreras, who will send that to right. Austin Martin's going to play that off the hop right there. Probably could have come in and made the catch, but there's already one hit allowed in the game here uh, for that. Now here you go. Big punch out there on Nolan Gorman. That's the fifth punch out of the game for sale. Jordan Walker, swing and a miss as well. Big slider. That's going to end the fourth. There's sixth of the game for sale. Robert Hassel up, and Hassel puts that on the ground. Backhanded by the first baseman, stepping on the bag himself for out number one here in the bottom of the fourth. So one down now here for the Pirates. Up will come Tanner Schobel, who's 0 for 1. 0 for 2 with the punch out there. An unfortunate at-bat for the Pirates' third baseman. And up comes Cody Clemens. Clemens puts that on the ground. That one's fielded by the first baseman. He's going to step on the bag. One, two, three. Go the Pirates. And up comes J.J. Weatherholt here. The D.H. He drives that one center field. That one's back. Long run for Kalanick, who will make the catch for out number one. One down now here in the inning. As up will now be Tanner Sagacy. So Tanner, the first baseman. Uh, Thomas Sagacy. Close enough. It starts with a T. He's a made-up player, I'm pretty sure, unless it's like a first-round draft pick somewhere that I've forgotten about. Uh, J.D. Davis, the third baseman up. He swings and misses. That's seven on the day for sale, and that's going to end the inning. One, two, three, go the cards, and up will come Kyle Schwarber. One for two on the day with the homer. Lines that one to the third baseman, who knocks it down over to first in time. Yeah, Kyle Schwarber, he's pretty slow. Let's be honest. He's just here for the home runs. Kalanick up now. He puts that on the ground. Fielded by Kingery, who boots that one as well. Lots of defensive blunders here in this fifth inning uh, by the St. Louis Cardinals. Out comes the veteran Steven Matz. So one veteran lefty to another veteran lefty here. Matz, 36 games, an 8-14 and 14 record. I'm assuming he spent some time in the rotation based off of those totals there. 172 innings pitched. Yeah, he definitely was a rotation guy for a little bit. He strikes out Austin Martin for the second out here in this fifth inning. And, well, with one on and two outs, Rooker drives that one down the right field line. That one will be getting down, one hopping off the wall in right field. That one's in the corner. Problems fielding it by the right fielder, Walker. Uh, but that's going to be man on second and third now. And there you go. 
And here we go. Tamar Johnson looking for the RBI. And he strikes out swinging to end the fifth stranding two in scoring position. You hate to see that one there for the rookie second baseman. Scott Kingery one for one on the day. The first hit of the game for the Cardinals. He strikes out swinging. Unfortunate at bat there for Kingery. That's the eighth of the game now for sale. Tommy Edmonds up and Edmund will go down looking. That's nine on the day for the veteran Chris Sale. So he's only five away now from 14, which is 200 on the season. Carlson drives that one to right. Austin Murray underneath makes the grab, and that's going to end the sixth year. One, two, three, go the cards. And on now to the bottom half. Henry Davis leads things off 0 for 1, and he gets plunked. So, yeah, Henry Davis on board for the second time this game. Hassel, little outside slider. That one's going to go to second. And that's over to first in time. So does that a 1-6-3 double play. Next up, Tanner Shovel, the shortstop. He's playing shortstop this game, not third base. Clemens is playing third base. He grounds out to end the inning. Wilson Contreras leads things off here. Grounder up the middle. Shovel can't quite get there in time. That's why he's a third baseman. Doesn't quite have the range. Uh, but wanted to give Clemens the start at third. Up comes Gorman, who strikes up, swinging at the low fastball. That's now 10 on the day here for Chris Sale. He is in the running for hopefully getting 14. As Jordan Walker strikes out for mighty number 11 on the day. Now with 11 strikeouts, that's the big, that's the dozen right there. On the next batter up, Weather Hope, as he goes down for the 12th of the game. Now up comes Cody Clemens, one for two with the home run. He swings through that off-speed pitch outside the zone. A good attempt there, Cody. I still love you. You're still my favorite. Kyle Schwarber up now, one for three with a couple ground outs. Drives that one left field, that one underneath of it by Dylan Carlson. And that's going to be out number two. So two quick outs now here in the seventh inning, and up will come Jared Kellenick. Two for three on the day. Kalanick will chop that one infield. Kingery has it. Kingery over to first in time for out number three. One, two, three, go the Pirates. And out will come Quinn Priester. Priester going to be relieving the veteran Chris Sale. He's not going to hit 200 punch outs this season, unfortunately. Pitch count is too elevated, uh, says the manager, Stephen Vogt. Uh, but Priester spent some time between the rotation, and now he's in the bullpen. And there you go, Austin Marin drives that right center. That's going to be uh, caught by Austin Marin. Thomas Sagasi hits that one right center. J.D. Davis, the third baseman up. He sends that right center again. That's actually more just straight away, right? And that's caught, though, by Austin Martin for out number two. So with two outs now here in this eighth inning, up will come Scott Kingery. And Kingery will strike out swinging the 12-6 curveball. Good on Uncle Charlie ends the inning there. Love to see that there for the young Priester. Up comes Austin Martin, who drops that one up the middle. That one's going to bleed into the outfield. And there you go. Lead off single here in the eighth for the young Austin Martin. Now up comes Brent Rooker. Rooker fights that one to right. Caught by the second baseman, Gorman. And that's going to be out number one. Tamar Johnson up looking for his first major league hit. Rolls that to Gorman. Over to Kingery. Back. Uh, to the first base, went in time for a, uh, what is that, 6 4 3 will play, or 4 6 3 will play, something like that. Next man up, it's going to be Tommy Edmond. Edmond grounds that one to Johnson. Johnson jump throw there to first in time. Good old athletic play there by Tamar Johnson. Dylan Carlson 0 for 3. He's going to make that 0 for 4, hopefully. Shovel long throw in time, beating out the speedy Dylan Carlson. He cocked back and just yeeted that one across the diamond. Contreras with two outs in the inning. That one's knocked down by Clemens. Clemens throws from the getting up position. And there you go. Across the diamond goes Cody Clemens. And that's going to end the inning here. Two scoreless innings there for Quinn Priester in relief. That's going to be seven scoreless of four. Uh, the starter there, Chris Sale. So a nice Pirates victory here to end off the regular season. Game 162 is a 4-0 victory. Uh, Chris Sale picks up his 23rd win. Sunny Gray drops to 5-12, unfortunately, on the season. Play of the game does go to sale. Seven innings pitched, three hits, 12 punch outs. He did fall too shy of the 200 strikeout milestone, uh, which is a huge accomplishment for any pitcher, uh, but he still is in definite line to try and get 3,000 before his career is over. 
Uh, take a look at the Pirates and the season 102 and 60. You'll love to see that right there for your Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, we're taking on the winner of the wild card game. So we're going into the NLDS. How did we get there? Schwarber hit 273 with 50 home runs. That's impressive. 17-300 for Kalanick. Oliveris, 19-268. Not bad. 31-250 for Rooker. That's what I expect. Martin, 24-283. 13-282 for Rodriguez. Uh, 12 home runs from Kutch. 15 from Sung Chae Chang. 9 from Tanner Schwarber. 236. Unfortunate batting there, though. Davis, 259, 10 home runs, 202, and 5 for Cody Clemens. Swinski, 243 with 11 bombs. 215, 3 for Ji Huan Bei. I mean, the bull the depth guys right there, I kind of expect that, especially from kind of Clemens and Ji Huan Bei. Uh, 17, 8 with 255 punch outs there uh, for Skeens. 17, 11, 194 for Jared Jones. 23, and 6 for Chris Sale. You love to see that. Uh, Bubba Chandler there, 13, and 8 on the season. Anthony Salamento, 8 and 7. That's unfortunately going to be his rookie season, though. Uh, Bailey faltered. Eh, Priester kind of figured out a little bit in the bullpen, I want to say. Seawold, 251 ERA. I like to see that. Paul Ashcraft here at 406 ERA. Holderman, eh, boy. Pomeranz, 497. Kimbrell lights out, 0.92. And then there you go. Forrest Whitley, 270 ERA, 49 punch out, 63 innings pitch, 59 saves. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I think we found our closer for the next couple seasons, hopefully. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, comment down below. Text on YouTube, though. Peace out, rock on, stay super classy. Catch up next episode here of our Pittsburgh Pirates.